Hey guys, today we'll show you how to connect the battery system with two parallel and two series connections. Let's show you something that will be used in the video. Four batteries, balancer, two copper boss bars, breaker, switch, fuse, MA terminal bolts, two AWG PVC wire, red and black, insulating gloves, wrenches. Before we start, we want to share some prerequisite with you. Please make sure the batteries meet all the conditions below. First, there are batteries with the same battery type, capacity, voltage, and BMS. Second, they are from the same brand, lead time is the same as the amper time. Third, the batteries are purchased within one month. We suggest fully charging separately and balancing your battery system before using them to maintain a consistent voltage in the entire battery system. To balance battery voltages, you can use a battery balancer or leave the batteries connected in parallel for 12 to 24 hours. Next, the size of PVC wire required should meet the requirements of the entire battery system. The user manual that comes with the battery will help you determine what size of PVC wire to choose. The breaker, fuse, or switch should be connected to the electrical equipment for safety. And ensure switch off, breaker or switch before finishing the connection. Please wear your insulating glove throughout. Plan out your battery system and draw a connection diagram before connecting the batteries. This will help reduce errors. If you are not sure, reach out to us for assistance. We will show you how to connect using the MPPT controller as an example. Okay, now let's get started. We recommend connecting the batteries in parallel first, followed by the series connection to maintain a consistent voltage in the battery system. You know, the parallel connection is connecting the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. So connect the battery array one in parallel with red and black cables. Ensure all the bolts are tightened circularly. Likewise, connect the battery array two in parallel as well. Okay, we complete the parallel connections. Let's get started with the series connection. Connect array one and two in series. Negative in array one and positive in array two. Then. Secure the bolts tight. Now we finish the battery system with two parallel and two series connections. Maybe you will connect your appliance to the battery system after the connection. Do you remember what we suggested in the last video? We recommend the batteries should be connected to the balancer if you connect the batteries in series. Just like in our system, connect the two batteries in series from the first or second row to the battery balancer. When connecting the balancer to batteries, the cable connection direction should be left to right. For example, I connect the two leftmost circuit of the balancer to the two series batteries and the second row. Balancers positive to batteries positive and negative to negative. Now we have complete all of the connections. You know, the parallel connection will increase battery capacity and the amperage. The series connection will increase battery voltage. Let's test if the voltage of the battery system exceeds 24 volts. As you can see, the voltage is 26.3 now. So it is a 24 volt, 200 hour battery system now. The battery connections are complete. Now you can connect the battery system to the charger and load to complete the entire system. For complex system, we suggest using boss bars instead of battery terminals for system connection. It helps handle high currents over time and improve system performance. I'll take the MPPT controller as an example. Connect the battery systems positive and negative not connected in series to positive and negative bus bars respectively. Then connect the MPPT controller to the positive and negative bus bars. MPPT's positive to positive bus bar and MPPT's negative to negative bus bar. The switch is installed between the batteries and the MPPT controller. You can use the fuse or breaker as well. Okay, that's our video today. Are our videos helpful for you? If you want to show the guidance that you are interested in, please let me know. We are so welcome to your question. In the next video, we will show you how to store the lithium battery. See you next time.